Also in the news, political parties under the umbrella body of allied political parties have called on the EFCC to stop politicizing its fight against corruption, to also desist from being used as a tool of intimidation against politicians within and outside the APC. At a press conference in Oka, Anambra State, their spokesperson, Dr. Ralph Wonsu, said the anti-graft agency should be impartial, it should be independent and apolitical in its fight against corruption. They cited the face-off between the Kogi State government and the EFCC over an alleged 20 billion naira Kogi State salary bailout account at Sterling Bank that was purportedly frozen by the court. They argued it was obvious that the EFCC was pursuing an agenda and being used by some politicians to label some uh, government officials as corrupt through unverified cases. It is worrisome how the EFCC is being used, rightly or wrongly, to intimidate politicians within and outside the ruling party by the henchmen of APC who are said to be, who are said to have President Buhari's ears. It, it projects EFCC under the current administration as a tool of oppression and not an agency that was set up to sanitize Nigeria and make it corrupt free. This APC by force syndrome cannot stand in a number of states. And all the shenanigans will come to nothing. The people of Anambra will resist all APC or EFCC bully and vote to produce their own government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.